inky is loose. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pup. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Salvation Army Thrift Store in Burlington on Fairview. The thrill of the hunt. That's all this is. It's the thrill of the hunt. And we go in and we start to see some Hawaiian shirts. Now, there's quite a few in this one. Not sure about the colors. It might not work for everyone, but I'm sure there's somebody for it. This one's uh, a nice contender. I thought the uh, prices were a bit on the higher side for a Salvation Army, but hey, it is Burlington. This is more of a business attire. And there's Inky. You could have had him if, if he's still there. Then you get the brand names like Truly. For five bucks, you got fish. And more of a business attire, at least Hawaiian style. And we're back up to the higher prices. Uh, some leaves on this one. A bit less. And we were looking around and we always take a look at the bright colors. They often are the indicator, but they were not. There was a uh, some sort of sports jer and logoed shirt. Trying to kind of be like a Hawaiian shirt wasn't uh, s s the small appliances electronics they're along the one wall the back corner same area they've got the sheets and linens bags and sporting goods toys and then uh, near the front they've got the glassware in shelves and on top of the um, some of the uh, clothing racks. These were a couple of interesting vases. Um, interesting, but they weren't coming back with us at ten dollars each. They were tiny, but they weren't uh, easily uh, uh, f to fit into uh, just about any decor. They were pr very specific. Lamps, electronics, artwork, well, art frames anyway. The artwork was above all the way around. There's that sports shirt again. And we're kind of jumping around. There's a bit of that. Sometimes I can't get to the same, into each aisle right as soon as I try because there's someone in there. So it's kind of. And these were up at the front by the cache. So were some of these DVDs and LPs. They're not far from the uh, book area as well. They had some books right at the front of the cache, as you'll see shortly. Uh, faux African art, I'd suspect. Well, maybe not faux in the sense that it wasn't made there but it was made for a tourist trade. It's a fair sized store, much bigger than the one um, in, in smaller communities. Uh, this one used to do live auctions. Ah, swim, swimsuit, Hawaiian shirt, fabric, it's at least patterning.
some other ones there. And there you see some more areas. Sporting goods, toys. Oh yes, the this store actually stocks the beds than mattresses. Shoe section. There you saw some lamps on top of the uh, clothing racks. Here's the rest of the shoes with the hats and the artwork above all of those. It goes pretty well around the store for the artwork. This is one of the last aisles of the hard goods. I should have... No, I didn't take a look at the hats in particular in this store. I have scored hats in a number of places, including ones that were rolled up in a tube. Now these ones, um, I asked if Westwood Avenue wanted these, but she declined to have them. A mid-century bowl, tidbits, candy, your call, 10 bucks though. Thought it was a bit on the higher end of the scale. A nice piece with amethyst glass in it and this is their more precious items that they've got gla glass cased right near the cashier there are some stills of this coming up so binoculars radios cameras this one's got some uh, flatware some jewelry camera cases some cameras and we saw a similar one this one just shows the top shelf a bit better the flatware again and some Pyrex they didn't put it out on the shelf this time they had a nice selection of Pyrex there and then the book section. I didn't take any particular notice of what was in the book section this time. There are a few other things above the Pyrex. Porcelain, ceramics. So they've got, they've got quite the selection and they used to do a live auction. Um, like once a month and it was uh, quite a, a lively affair I must say so, uh, some of the stuff they have is brand new those were brand new winter jackets and then they have these books out here as well by the, by the entrance uh, DVDs and so on thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video We'd appreciate if you give us a sub subscribe and a like and maybe even a tinkle of the bell so you're notified of the next one. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.